Today we are chatting about to achieve more, we simply must focus more. And I'm going to repeat that. Today's conversation here on Mornings with Mike is the following. It's all about the fact that to achieve more, we simply must focus more. Focus. We must focus more if we are to achieve more. And speaking of more, more than ever before, distractions of all kinds are everywhere to take away from the focus we need to achieve more more than ever right i mean would you agree with with phone calls we all have a mobile phone right so with phone calls constantly coming our way whether it's from family or friends and sometimes it's not even that it's just sales and marketing people reaching out trying to sell us and and get our attention somehow right or text messages same thing social media right (laughs) scrolling endlessly through facebook through instagram check in whatever may be online linkedin anything social media Events, happenings, things going on. We're constantly checking, looking, pictures, etc. Right? That whole FOMO, fear of missing out. We got to see what's going on, who's doing what. Right? So many distractions everywhere today that it makes it hard for us to focus. I know it certainly has in the past for me, where there's so much going on. I feel like I'm distracted. I can't really focus in on what I have to do to, you know, to have the things I want to achieve the goals that I have for myself. You know, it's amazing that we have the world. We literally, at this point in our time, in in this day and age, we have the world at our fingertips, right? Through our devices, through, you know, World Wide Web, all these apps, everything. We have the world at our fingertips, which means more than ever, more than ever before, our ability to focus on what we must do to achieve the things that you and I have decided we must have. We made it a priority. We must have this. But more than ever before, our ability to focus, it's at risk. It's at major risk right now because of all these distractions. The phone calls, the text messages, the social media, the events, the happenings, everything. Our focus is in jeopardy. We're at risk of not achieving the things we've decided we want to achieve, we must achieve. Because our focus isn't there. The distractions are getting the best of us. Would you agree that for something to work for something to work that we must 100% focus all of our time, energy, and effort towards it. Give that question some thought real quickly. Would you agree that if something is going to work, whether it's a new career, a career we want to just crush and kill and be awesome at, or a new business we start, or a new relationship, or a friendship, or whatever, any kind of relationship that we're looking to really make the best it can be, If we're going to really make our finances work, do things financially, budget, pay off stuff, save money, invest. If any any of these are going to work, would you agree that it's a must that we focus all of our time, energy, and effort to create any one of these? My guess is you would say yes, because I certainly would say yes, right? We can't half-ass a career or a business or a relationship or our finances and think we're going to have massive benefit. There's no way, guys. You tell me. Think of any situation where you've kind of gave it half an effort but, and you've reaped massive rewards, the kind of rewards you want. It doesn't happen, right? We need to give all of our time, energy, and effort towards something, a goal, an aspiration, a dream. All of our focus if we're going to achieve the results we want in any one of these. But the question then becomes, well, how do we focus then? How do we focus if more than ever before there's so many distractions around us? How do we focus? And in the words of my, you know, mentor, the late Jim Rohn, he put it best and he said it this way. We must stand guard at the doorstep of our minds. And I'm going to repeat that. My mentor, the late Jim Rohn said, we must stand guard at the doorstep of our minds. In other words, when it comes to being focused and eliminating the distractions, it's up to us to stand guard at the doorstep of our mind in order to focus. We must do that. We must stand guard and watch out for what we see, what we allow ourselves to see, what we allow ourselves to hear, what we allow ourselves to listen to. We must stand guard at the doorstep of our mind and really screen what we see, hear, and listen to. 
And when I say that, meaning like, what are we watching? Are we watching YouTube? Are we watching videos that people put on Facebook? Are we watching the news? Things that just are taking away our focus from what we're looking to do to have the lives we want. You know, are we, are we listening to people? When I say here, are we listening to things as well? News, different stations, people's ideas and ideologies that don't contribute to the, what we're trying to do in life to achieve the goals we want. What we're listening to, what we're, li what we're hearing, what we're, what we're responding to, what we're, we're, we're taking part in. Any one of these, right? Does it, my question I ask you and I always ask myself, does what I'm listening to, reading, listening to, seeing, does it contribute to my goals? Does it contribute to my dreams, to my aspirations? Is it contributing to it? Because if it's not, it's a distraction. It's taking away my focus from what I must be doing, what I must be focusing on to create the life I want for myself. So if I'm watching, for example, if I follow this clickbait, if I go on Yahoo and like, oh, hey, this happened with this celebrity and look at them get caught doing X, Y, and Z. If I'm clicking on that nonsense, it's taking away my focus. It's a distraction. It's clickbait. You know, any kind of junk video, hey, look at this person getting beat up and smashing their car into someone else and get into a fight. All these silly videos, like they're not doing anything for me. It's a distraction. Why would I watch it? It's taking me away from what I must be doing to have the things I've decided I must have. And even listening to people, right? Whether it's on TV, whether it's on a radio, whether it's your friends, family. If it's not supporting, if what they have to say is not supporting your dreams, your goals, your aspiration, you, we must, you, me, we must stand guard at the doorstep of our mind and watch out what we allow in, whether we're seeing it, hearing it, or reading it. Because if it's not supporting what we are out to do, what we've decided we must do to have the things we must have, it's a distraction and it's taken away from what we must be focusing on. And so that is why I say in order for you and I to achieve more, we must simply focus more. And the fastest, quickest, most effective way to do that is to continue to stay in guard at the doorstep of our minds and you and I decide what we let in when it comes to what we see, what we hear, and what we read.